This lesson will demonstrate how to create some intro vines that you see in some Flash movies. In the beginning of the Flash movie, you'll see vines that grow, maybe flowers that bloom out of the vines, and things like that. Uh, so what we'll do is show you how they sometimes use uh, keyframe masking to accomplish that technique. So you can choose Action Script 2 or Action Script 3 file. I'm going to just choose Action Script 3, and there's not going to be ac any Action Script involved. So uh, there's no worries there. So you can use Action Script 2 or Action Script 3. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create the the vine graphic, and we'll just take a couple of lines, make it real easy. You can make yours really nice and smooth looking, uh, but I'm going to make mine really simple looking for the sake of time and the file size of this video. Okay, so let's put that about there. And then we'll take the pen tool and make a curvy one. So you click down, then let go, and then you click down again, and then you can maneuver how your curve wants to be with the pen tool there. two kind of lines and you can bend these lines now you can just grab them so say you had a, a vine that was thick on one end and then we'll show you how to mask both of these to where they'll animate okay so now we have those we're going to rename this layer our uh, vine Vines, and then then create a new layer above it, and name that one mask. And what we're going to do is bring out our vines layer to about let's see, maybe about 85. And we're going to press on the vines layer. We're going to press F5 to extend it out. And then we're going to come back to frame one and on the mask layer and we can lock the vines layer and the mask layer now we're gonna use the brush tool which is like a paintbrush I'm gonna make sure it's uh, the right size and the right shape is round yep and the right color we use something nice and bright so we know where we're dabbing this thing so what you're gonna do is highlight uh, keyframe or frame two and press F6 make a new keyframe and then dab with the paintbrush right on the end of the vine and just do it on both and if you had a gradient maybe through here or it was all green through the vine through here or this blade of grass or whatever you want to call it you would just dot the whole section right all the way through like that and then you hit keyframe or frame 3 and hit F6 and just do it again and keep repeating this process until you start moving up hit keyframe or create a new keyframe on frame 4 and as you can see all the dots keep layer layering in there as we paint them in so I'm gonna pause the video right now and actually I'm gonna paint in all my dots as I go each layer and when I get when I uh, resume the movie you'll see all my dots painted in and I'll catch up with you Okay, now that I've got all of my uh, little dots in on all my keyframes, uh, I have 52 it looks like we ended up with there. So let's go back to 85 and highlight all of these and we're going to remove them. If I can see it, there it goes. And you right click and remove frames and that'll get rid of those. And then on the last, actually we'll just keep it looping you could just put a new layer here and put a stop action press F6 and put a stop action right there to stop it when the vines grow actually we'll go ahead and do that let's put a stop action and now we're going to right click the mask layer here and select mask 
and now you'll see as you drag your timeline they reveal themselves as the uh, as the movie runs so what we'll do is we'll get a good frame rate here of like 20 and then publish out and see how it looks and there you have it that's how they animate those vines and the more frames, the more dots, the more keyframes and dots you use, the nicer your animation will be, the smoother it'll look, uh, and the more elegant your vines will come out. And these are really crappy looking, I know, but uh, you get the idea. You can make a really beautiful uh, structure of curvy vines and use that method. It'll take you a little while to get all the dots in there, but that method comes out really nice. Let's refresh the page and watch it again. It looks cool. So that's how they do that. So that's one trick revealed, and uh, let's see what else. And also, if you wanted to put a flower right on the end of the vine to bloom at the end of the animation, you would just put it on the the vines layer with that, and use that painting technique to paint it at the end. All maybe throughout ten or twelve keyframes, you paint out your little flower mask, your mask on top of your flower, and it'll reveal it. Okay, so that's the end of that lesson, and we'll see you next time.